Hi everyone. If you're a pre-med or medical student, data collection is a vital skill you need to master for research projects and clinical studies. Today we'll walk you through a simple step-by-step -step guide on how to effectively collect data. Let's get started. Before you start, clarify what you want to achieve with your data collection. Are you looking to answer a specific research question, analyze trends, or gather information for a case study? A clear objective will guide your entire process. For example, if you're studying the effectiveness of a new treatment, your objective might be to measure patient outcomes over a specific period. Decide how you will gather your data. Common methods include surveys, interviews, observations, and reviewing existing records or databases. Choose the method that best suits your objective and the type of data you need. Surveys are great for quantitative data, while interviews can provide detailed qualitative insights. Observations work well in clinical settings, and records review is useful for historical data. Create or select the tools you'll use to collect data. This could be questionnaires, interview guides, data sheets, or software for recording and analyzing information. Make sure your tools are reliable and easy to use. For surveys, design questions that are clear and unbiased. For interviews, prepare open-ended questions to encourage detailed responses. Use data sheets to systematically record observations. Before full-scale data collection, test your tools with a small group. This helps identify any issues and ensures that your methods are effective. Adjust your tools based on feedback to improve accuracy and reliability. If your survey questions are confusing or your data sheet misses important details, this is the time to make changes. Now you're ready for the actual data collection. Follow your plan and collect data consistently to ensure accuracy. Record data in real time when possible and double check entries to avoid errors. Organize your data collection process to avoid missing information. If you're conducting interviews, take notes or record sessions if allowed. Protect the data you collect by storing it securely. Use encrypted digital storage for sensitive information and keep physical documents in locked cabinets. Ensure that only authorized personnel have access. Data security is crucial, especially if you're dealing with personal or medical information. Always follow ethical guidelines and institutional policies. Once data collection is complete, Analyze your data to draw meaningful conclusions. Use statistical tools for quantitative data and thematic analysis for qualitative data. Look for patterns, trends, and insights that answer your research question. Software like SPSS or Excel can help with quantitative analysis, while qualitative data might require coding and thematic analysis. Finally, present your results in a clear and organized manner. Use charts, graphs, and tables to illustrate your data. Write a summary of your findings and discuss their implications for your research question or hypothesis. A well-structured report or presentation will make it easier to communicate your results to others, whether for a class project or a professional research paper. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide to data collection for pre-med and medical students. Remember, thorough and systematic data collection is key to successful research. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more helpful tips. See you next time.